Fox 5 Health Watch. They're no bigger than a dime, and they're in our remote controls, our calculators, even the musical greeting cards we give our kids for their birthdays. But if button-sized batteries get into the hands of young children, they're actually lethal. Health Watch reporter Beth Galvin is here with one family story. Beth, and Dana and Russ, these button batteries make life pretty convenient for adults because they're powerful and they can last a long time. But they're small, and they're shiny. And as Evan Sykes' parents learned this spring, sometimes kids will inexplicably swallow them. Three-year-old Evan Sykes is always fishing around for a little adventure. So last February, when Evan's 10-year-old sister Emma Rose showed him her fancy new calculator with the button-sized battery that pops right out, he bit. He said, I ate the battery. But at first we didn't believe him. We thought, no, you couldn't have. You couldn't have eaten the battery. But Evan had swallowed it several hours earlier. Because of being so small, you think, okay, maybe it's not as harmful. Maybe it's, it, it's not as bad as eating the big one. Yep, as Janelle Sykes would learn, swallowing one of these can be deadly dangerous. I immediately called poison control and they urged us to take him into the emergency room and get an x-ray. Got our call center here. Here at the Georgia Poison Center, the third busiest in the country, Director Gaylord Lopez says they got about 60 calls last year about people, most of them children, who had ingested a button battery, sometimes mistaking them for pills, sometimes for candy. This is a battery commonly found in remote controls, could also be found in greeting cards, and you see just by the very texture, very smooth, easy to swallow. But Dr. Lopez says the batteries contain potent chemicals, and if they leak, they burn. When in contact with the skin, can't eat through the skin, cause varying degrees of burns. Most children, like Evan, will naturally pass the batteries in a few days, but sometimes they get caught. It gets lodged in the esophagus and stays there. The acid um, will burn through the esophagus and can cause hemorrhaging, bleeding, and death. And that can happen in the first five to ten hours. These are problematic cases. Every time we get one, we'd rather be safe than sorry. So poison control sends anyone who swallows a button battery to the emergency room for x-rays. It had worked its way down so far. Evan showed the battery was not caught, so no need for surgery and no damage. It was way far down in his intestines, already working its way through, being passed. They told us to watch him for the next four to five days, make sure it passes. Other children have not been so fortunate. In May of 2009, two-year-old Elena Redding of Lupton, Colorado, bled to death three weeks after a button-sized battery became lodged in her esophagus. When the sites came home and took a look around their house, they found button batteries everywhere. This is Evan's play cell phone. Open it up in the back. And you've got three of them. Janelle Sykes says when you childproof your house, you don't think about batteries, but you should. Um, it's very dangerous, very, very dangerous, and we just don't even know it, you know? And so what happens if a child can't pass one of these batteries naturally after swallowing it? Sometimes the only option is surgery. And tomorrow, in the second part of our story, we're going to take you inside the operating room at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Eggleton, and we're going to show you how far doctors have to go to get that battery back out of a child's body. I mean, in some cases, this can really be life-threatening in a matter of hours because these batteries, if they leak, they are caustic and they can just literally eat right through a child's esophagus. Yeah, I had no idea it was that serious.